हमारी दोनों बहनों ने बोली सुनी ये दोनों बोले बोली सुनी नहीं सुनी इसने सुनी इसने नहीं सुनी मुरली जरूर सुननी चाहिए बहुत फायदा होता है दिस मच बेनिफिट रोज नई बात बाबा सुनाता है Sorry I can't hear daddy they're just getting the speakers louder for me Mai school mein to wahi history geography hongi na It's that Koi same history and geography hai. that baba teaches us Do school mein jo sab jis hote hai Yahan sab bade char subjects hai There are four subjects within our school Par ek ghante mein ek teacher padhata hai ऐसा टीचर कभी नहीं देखा एक टीचर एक टीचर चार पर आवे टीचर टीचर से ऑल फोर सब्जेक्ट्स ऑल इन वन आवर तो स्टूडेंट भी ऐसे है एंड ये You need such quality students. 
You can't be an ordinary student. But I say, even today, I myself am a student. I am a student, aren't I? Student life, the best. Student life is the best life. Free. Is my English good? I'm free. Na teacher ho, na guru ho. I'm not a teacher, I'm not a guru. Guru apne followers ko lecture karke Gurus will lecture their followers. Teacher bani nahi hon. I've never become a teacher. Teacher ek hai. We only have one teacher. And even today, whatever he is telling us, that is what we do. He speaks and I act. Baba had taught us in Karachi, from the days of Karachi, that our speech and our actions should be one. It shouldn't be that I say something, but my actions are of another level. Yesterday, yesterday evening's program, I had to be able to share from the experience of both what I say and what I've done. I think actually we should share those questions from last night with the whole class. And today, what is it we've learned? Whatever is happening, understand that there is benefit in there. Benefit is merged in it. Then you will never shake. Who do we call God? The Supreme Father is our God. Everybody else refers to God or Allah, but we say Supreme Father. In Hindi, Bhagwan. there are many names for God, Prabhu, Ishwar, Bhagwan, and each one is wonderful. Bhagwan, the one who teaches us how to make our fortune, how perform good actions. He gives us enthusiasm and zeal and strength to act. Oh, Prabhu. When Baba says Prabhu, we're talking about the game that he, he plays. How beautiful are his actions? How does he serve us? He's teaching us by example how to act, to serve. He gives us his company to do so. He says, Do it this way, do it this way. Don't think too much. If you overuse your intellect in thinking too much, you can't draw power from God, nor are you able to catch His direction. When I came to Gyan, the very first lesson I learned that the driver has to drive the car. But what is it that the driver does? Full attention he pays full attention so that the passengers within the car don't have any uncomfortable journeys nor does anybody else um, have an accident with him. When I first came abroad and there was a brother in Germany who used to drive me and I said, please don't drive me because if you have an accident, then you'll be caught. Don't rush. Don't go carefully. 
go carefully, you'll always arrive at the right time. And the car has lights at the front and the back. The lights at the front are for us to see clearly. The lights at the back are for others to be able to see us. Now, I don't drive a car, but am I right in this way? Now, if you didn't have lights at the back of your car, then how would others know what you're planning to drive the car? Here, there's queues of cars in the west. But there has to be attention. How do I need to move forward so those behind me don't find any difficulty? And if somebody wants to overtake, please do. Go ahead. Please go ahead. And at the time, at my time, I know I'll be able to move forward. You have to have good sense to be able to drive well. So I ask, my, ask you, have you been taking driving lessons? Have you? Jacqueline, have you been taking driving lessons? Really? Really? You need light in the front. What's ahead of you? Drive well, drive clearly, you will arrive on time. Wherever, where is it that you want to go? Today, Baba clarified, souls who came from the beginning are the ones who go right round and to the end. And we said to Baba Baba, but we want you to become free from this cycle. And here you are telling us not only that we came at the beginning, but we have to stay till the end. We did bhakti to meet God. And we did bhakti so that we could stay with Baba up above. And Baba says, no, I've come to make you pure, to take you back with me. Take me back with you. I want you to be an example for others. You are the deity souls. Baba has explained very well, very clearly, that even those who take a little knowledge, they, have, they also develop good qualities. They get very good qualities, as if they too can be deities. I'm sharing this, but I'm looking at each one of you. Look at such a deity soul. In Satyu, we won't recognize this in each other, because everyone's a deity. Yes, there'll be subjects. Yes, there'll be kings. But there will be no giving sorrow, no taking of sorrow. So I have a story about every aspect of life. At one point I'd been sitting quietly and Mama had left her body and Baba saw me and said, go sleep on Mama's bed. And I thought, how fortunate am I that I can sleep on Mama's bed. And so I had full attention that I have the yoga that Mama had to be able to sleep on her bed. I didn't write a chart, but I kept a chart accurately. And I was very cold. I had a shawl over my shoulders and a shawl over my knees. And Baba came in front of me um, out of the blue. And he asked me, what are you doing? Are you pay looking at your chart? A cha. And he gave me such love. And then he took me with him in his in the room come in class i will explain who is able to have a good chart you don't give sorrow to anyone do you he's asking me this in the middle of the class you don't give anyone sorrow do you do you do i do i give anybody sorrow here is anybody experienced sorrow from me here please let me know now 
And so from that day I paid attention not to give sorrow, nor take sorrow. If I've taken sorrow, then what am I going to do with that sorrow? I am going to share that. I am going to give it to others. If I give even, if I take even a slight bit of sorrow, what is it that I'm going to give to others? I will give that sorrow. Then the next day, Baba said, those who listen to the muli accurately, with full attention, those who don't allow their intellects to wonder, that one will have a good chat. And so from that day to this day, I paid attention to these two things. Don't give sorrow, don't take sorrow, nor allow your intellect to wander during Muli. It shouldn't be that you're sitting here listening to Muli, but your intellect wanders. You have to have such value of the versions of God that you are hearing now. Those who listen to rubbish, those who listen to waste, nor will they be able to share what Baba is saying, nor will they be able to hear it. They'll say yes, yes, but internally, what is it that they've taken? If you say to them, what have you taken? They'll say, oh, it was good, but they're not able to tell you what was good. So become Swadeshan Chakradari. Look at the self and become an image that is worthy of praise. You are Brahmins. What does this mean? True. There are four types of Brahmins. One Brahmin, one Brahmin eats from the community to bring benefit to them. But what do we do? We feed others. We feed them with a great deal of love. And until we do that, we're not happy. Yes, the one who is cooking is cooking it with that love, but the one who is feeding is feeding with a smile. And whilst sharing the food, they're also sharing two words of gyan. You know more than I do. What is it that good businessmen do, big businessmen do? They'll take their good customers to hotels or restaurants and and pay for them to feed them. Is that right, Girish Bhai? They'll give them something to drink. Daddy's not saying what. But they'll give them something to drink, some alcohol. And they'll give them something to eat, but they'll make it such a good deal that they've earned a lot. And then they'll say, when they ask the business, where are you going to stay? I'm, I'm going to stay in a hotel. I'm going to eat in the hotel. Why? Why have you come to London? Molly Dada knows why people come to London. If you invite them to a businessman, if you invite them to their ho your home, they won't come to eat. They want to eat in restaurants and hotels because they know that they'll get good customers there. And they'll see who's staying in which hotel so that they can make a good deal. And so when we first started doing programs in London, we used to use hotels. I'm not sure if Balwant Bai was around, but we used to get very prestigious hotels, Dorchester for one, um, to do events. Why? Because you'd get people of that personality come and you'll be able to serve them, not ordinary people. So we want, in which business do we want to become clever? In sharing knowledge, being ever healthy, wealthy and happy. That's our business. 
ever healthy, ever wealthy. Which wealth? It's the wealth that can't be lost by expenditure, nor lost if stolen. Other wealth can be stolen, it can be um, lost because you've used it up, expenditure. If you have a purse, it might be stolen. When I used to stay in Baba Babel, I used to tell people, don't wear gold when you come. For Morley class, why? Because a sister lost her gold chain on her way to Morley because a thief took it. So keep your safety by staying simple. By staying simple, you are safe. Even at 12 o'clock, there's no fear of walking the streets. So what kind of wealth do we have? Can't be used in expenditure, can't be stolen by another. Physical wealth will be either buried underground or taken by the king. Look at the tax problems that we're having. But when you ask someone, how much do you earn? They say, after tax, this is what I've left with. So where has the tax gone? It's gone to the those who rule. It might be taken by thieves. It might be lost when it's burnt. Today, Baba said, use your mind, body and wealth in service. Who is Baba? He is the leader of great mercy. Actually, the word leader isn't a title you should have. It's actually the basis of the actions you should perform. What is the quality of action that I should be performing? It should be this quality. Jendi Ben make me such good companions who are merciful on the whole world, on the whole of humanity. The one who has mercy is the one who gains blessings. They say in Bhakti, that mercy is the basis of all faiths. Pap, sin, when you're away you miss these classes, don't you? What is my faith? What is my religion? Mercy. No ego. Any ego, even a little bit of it, will make you perform sinful actions. It will cause sorrow. You will do things superficially, not from the depth of your heart. You won't do, your actions won't be based on bringing benefit for others in their life. In fact, the actions will be competitive. I want a better life than this one. And so here, Competition, Baba criticism. finishes these Jean three Jean things, Jean competition, Jean corruption, corruption, criticism. No competition. No criticism, no competition. Everyone is enjoying their own fortune. We keep this feeling in our heart and so then we don't have any criticism. These three things cause us to act sinfully. How experienced has Baba made us? And today Baba said three times, forget everybody, forget everything, remember me alone. Remember uh, me alone. You can only remember one when you've forgotten everybody and everything else. Don't remember 
anyone. What is the point of remembering others? The body is perishable, wealth, physical wealth is perishable. Today it's here, tomorrow it's gone. Today there are clouds, tomorrow they've gone. Nothing is consistent. Did I know that I would live this long and others would leave their bodies before me? You can't even depend on your faith, your breath to continue. No matter how old you are, young or old, your breath could stop at any point. That's why in one school, Baba is teaching the elderly, the mature, the young and the children. Today I was discovering who teaches the children in class here. Yes, the adults are all seated here, but the children are downstairs and they have their own class. They also get bulk. They eat with love. They get the opportunity to eat with love. In Bhakti there are many good songs and lines in those songs. You are the mother, the father, and it was in this today's Muli. You are my mother and father, and it's through your mercy I experience great happiness. How can I put it in words? How much happiness I receive. In the world, people talk about how much sorrow there is, and that's what they talk about. I want people to come and talk to me about how much happiness there is in life. But you guys are all too busy to come and have this conversation. You're all too busy. To ask what happiness is, how to remain constantly happy. I sit with people till 11 o'clock at night to have such quality conversations. Yes, come. Come have this conversation. Ask me about happiness. And if you have this conversation before you go to sleep, you'll sleep well. This is why, Baba, would say, come and say good night. Come, come say good night. Then you'll sleep well and then you'll wake up early in the morning naturally. Even if you go to bed at 11, you'll naturally wake up at 4. At Amritvela. And so? There are four words which we don't need to translate. I don't think so anyway. And they're words that everybody knows in the world. Om Shanti. First we had badges made of Om Shanti in London. They were round badges with Om Shanti written on them. And even when you say Om Shanti, at that moment, Mera is if Baba. peace comes into you. Then, Mera, Mera Baba, Baba, my Baba. Now, Mera. when you say my Baba, Mera Baba, what translation do you need? This Amrit Vela. Third, Amrit Vela. Kabhi main samaj, jahan bhi Bharat se bahar center. Any center outside of Bharat, every one of them will know what Amrit Vela is. You don't even say early morning, because early morning could be 5 o'clock. But Amrit Vela is always 4 o'clock. So none of those words need translation. And the fourth word? How are you? I'm okay. It's a phrase, an English phrase. I'm okay. I'm okay. Get asked, 
How are you? You can turn around and say, I'm okay. Good phrase. What is the effort we make to stay happy? What is the point of having relationships with each other so that we share happiness? Yes, we eat, but from the beginning I've seen and checked for myself to the extent that I've eaten, have I done that much service for God? I'm eating from God's home, and so what return should I give? What return of service must I do? And you can't say, I won't eat because I don't really do any service. Well, that's not a response to give, is it? Definitely, you're welcome to eat. Who is feeding me? The one who is feeding me, that's how my mind will become. It will be that quality. At the beginning, I had the desire to become one who is surrendered. I saw those who were close to Baba, and they were all seated very close with great love, and they were eating warm, warm puri and kheer, rice pudding, and Baba's watching them and very happy. And I thought, when will I get the chance to sit here in this gathering and eat in this way? And that's why in Bhakti they say, I want to sit with you, I want to eat with you, I want to sleep with you, I want to talk to you. Do you have such good friendship? I want to eat with you. I want to sleep with you. Yes, definitely. Why not? At time of sleep, say good night and then sleep in my remembrance. And nobody can ask Baba, do you just sleep well? Um, you can't ask Baba, Baba, did you sleep well? And Baba would say, how can you ask me that? I didn't sleep, I remembered Baba all night. This is, what's the point of sleeping? What's the use of it? Even if I cough, at least I get to remember Baba. It's through remembrance that great happiness emerges. Then you don't remember anything else and nothing else, no other situation comes in front of you. There is benefit in this quality of remembrance. Baba has freed us from attachment so much. We didn't know Mama would leave her body before Baba. We had no inkling that could ever happen. And she, Mama left the body four years before Baba. And yet Mama was the one who was responsible for taking care of everybody. And everybody said, Baba, Mama's gone. And, and Baba said, so what? She earned her income. She made her fortune and she left. And from that day, Baba played two parts, both as Baba and Mama. The role of the mother and the father. He played all roles of friend and teacher, mother, father. Four years Baba didn't leave Madhuban. Before that he traveled to Delhi and Bombay. But after Mama left, he stayed in Madhuban. And that loving sustenance that Baba gives us, we need great value for that. 
तो कहीं कहते हैं मैं यहाँ देख मैं अपनी ग्रैंड मदर ग्रैंड मदर मैनी पीपल सी मी ऐसे यू लाइक माय ग्रैंड मदर ग्रैंड मदर ज्यादा करेंगे व्हाई बिकॉज़ ग्रैंड मदर्स लव देयर ग्रैंड चिल्ड्रन मोर देन मदर्स डू द मदर द मदर माइट स्लैप द चाइल्ड फॉर बीइंग नोटी बट द ग्रैंड मदर वुडंट मोर द ग्रैंड मदर का ज्यादा प्यार होता है ग्रैंड मदर्स हैव मोर अटैचमेंट मोर लव तो शिव बाबा का भी मुझे बहुत प्यार है एंड शिव बाबा इक्वली हैज अ ग्रेट डील ऑफ अटैचमेंट एंड लव फॉर अस ब्रह्म बाबा वुड गिव अस टीचिंग्स एंड डायरेक्शंस ही गिव अस अंडरस्टैंडिंग बिकॉज़ ही वाज स्टिल रिस्पांसिबल उसका काम है हमको सच्चा सच्चा हिज जॉब वाज टू मेक अस गुड एंड ट्रू चिल्ड्रन अच्छा वो सच्चा हो a good child is a true child you took a naam nishan no no sign of any falsehood in that child pura sacha mana and sako to be a f- true full Kain child means one to be hai. non-violent Aurofi some are violent hai. towards themselves Aurofi yes they may be violent to others but they are equally violent with themselves <laughs> internally they'll sit quietly and cry their eyes how can i say anything to anybody they'll cause themselves grief by sitting there thinking such thoughts that's violence and sa parmo dharma non violence is your religion or and sa truth and non violence are our religion अभी ये बाबा जो सिखला रहा है हम ना बाबा इज टीचिंग अस दिस नाउ एंड वी हैव ग्रेट वैल्यू ऑफ दैट मैं क्यों रिपीट करती हूं ये बाबा की बात है व्हाई एम आई रिपीटिंग दिस एस्पेक्ट्स दैट बाबा इज टीचिंग मी बिकॉज़ आई ऑब्जर्व व्हाट एवरीबॉडी इज डूइंग ऑल डे लॉन्ग क्या करते भले कुछ भी करो ना ओके व्हाट एवर यू डू मेंटेन ट्रूथ and sa maintain non violence in your activity and sa jo hai na andar power deti hai non violence gives you power internally khud ki bhi nirashai then the sadness internally and the hopelessness hai. internally are you understand our violence inside to be hopeless is non is violent when the children have courage the father gives help this is baba's wonder we've maintained courage we've never allowed ourselves to become hopeless we was i wasn't asked this question last night did you ever become hopeless unchi choti par jana hai par hamat se paar ja rahe hai yes we have a high destination but we're going to reach there with courage baki ek baat sunati hu Okay. I know we're running out of time but I'll share one more thing. When we first went to Mount Abu to pari par par bus mein jaate the. We used to go up the mountain in a bus. And we used to get car sick. Pari par jaate ulti aate the. We used to as we went up the mountain we'd get car sick. To mujhe bau ne kaha and At that point, Bao turned round. Said, "Don't look sideways. Look ahead, and you'll never get sick." Sit so in such a way that you don't get sick. And since that day, I never got sick. This is a direction. It's a simple thing. It's a very simple thing that we're taught. Your own choti par jana. Yes, you're going up to a high Ye destination. So don't do this. Do this. Don't look around. Look ahead. Bade aaram se aaye. And then your journey will be comfortable. Abhi kitna kabhi bhi same day par driver nahi karenge. Nahi se utrenge niche. We, nahi, nahi we would go up the mountain one day and we'd come down the mountain Do another day we would never consider traveling up and down the mountain in one day 
And now we've come to a point where we go up and down the mountain a couple of times. And um, Daddy used to come down the mountain a couple of times just, 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 just for the sake of service. Why? Because at the right time you have to follow the right direction. These are subtle things. They're not big things. They're not things that you have to sit and read and write extensively. You just need your intellect to have catching power to catch it and allow it to be touched. So catching power and touching power. At the right time, catch it so that you don't give sorrow nor take sorrow. And then you don't even need to say, this one's like this. Just stay quiet, stay peaceful. He, somebody has said something, you have merged it. You haven't repeated it. Yesterday I was asked questions, but today I've merged it. Some people say, you know this person said this to me, and later they're still crying and crying about it don't be so don't be such a crybaby become master of the world don't be so delicate that in the slight think that you keep in your mind you keep such a small thing in your mind and anything good you've allowed it to be removed if you allow anything negative, no matter how small it is, about the self or others in your mind, then nothing good about the self or others will ever remain in your mind. Baba said it's not possible for these two things to stay together. So have that much sense what you're keeping internally. You can be cunning and move ahead. And you think you're moving ahead well, but actually you're just being cunning. You're not being good. So this isn't a class in the morning, this is half an hour that you've given me a chance to be with you. And sometimes I take more than half an hour of your time. Okay, you don't give me time all day long, so I take this time with you. Isn't it enjoyable? And then I feel like I've met everybody all day long. And yes, we'll eat totally. I'll eat totally and I'll share totally with you. The one who gives and makes totally is the only the one who sees that, yes, I've done something good. And so, yes, you can share totally. This is what Baba taught us. He'd give us the molly and then he'd say, okay, now let's have toli. Shall I tell you a little bit more? Savitri Dadi Govimbai's mother, Baba said to her out of the blue, if Ram leaves his body, that was her husband, um, if he leaves his body, are you going to cry? Ram husband, Sajjan. And she said, no, Baba. And Baba said, okay, here, eat totally. And then when, yes, Ram left his body, she didn't shed a tear. To cry is not my task, but to constantly smile is. To ask what's going to happen, what's going to happen, that's not, that's not a conversation for me. But to understand there is benefit merged in everything. And so Savitri Daddy didn't take any sorrow when Ram Dada left his body, and as a result, okay. Hong Kong Center was opened. Okay? Om Shanti.